uh, personally, I think it think about it for myself, for my family, for Amazon, for my employees. We talk about it often. Uh, how this is a chance for us. Uh, we feel incredibly grateful in some sense and very responsible that we have a big role to play as Amazon as as an e-commerce in this uh, world of social distancing. And even later, I think uh, the way we do our job, the way we earn trust uh, of our customers, of our selling partners, of just this, uh, of citizens and nation uh, is going to go a long way in shaping how Amazon is going to be in, 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 in the post uh, COVID world. How do you look at it? Because in many ways, your customer is not visible to you, just like you are not visible to the customer. So how do you build this element of trust over a platform like e-commerce? I think, uh, you know, trust is a very uh, interesting thing. Uh, and, and again, I'm, I'm probably being more philosophical. It's not just e-commerce. With anything, uh, you earn trust. Uh, and you earn trust when you do the right thing, even when no one is watching you. You know, it's very easy to do the right thing when people are watching you. You know, we uh, feel that uh, we make promises to our customers and we keep promises. And that's how customers trust us. We keep them in every single transaction that we have with them, with every uh, every engagement we have with them. For example, the simple things on Amazon, you know, if you place something in your cart and the price of it reduces, we actually put a message of it saying that, look, the price of this has fallen down and, and, uh, and maybe the seller is just going to send you the balance money back to you uh, because you placed an order, uh, order for this item yesterday. Or if you just go on Amazon and let's say you've shopped for an item and you placed an order yesterday and you happen to come to the same page, we actually have a small message at the top which says, you've already purchased this item. A different company might like the idea that you're going to buy that item again in accident. We think that saving that pro- trouble for you will go a long way to earn your trust. You make promises that you're going to deliver the item on a certain date and you make sure that happens. And we miss the promise. Uh, we actually make it a, a very important exercise within the company to drive a root cause, find what went wrong, fix that so that it never happens again. Uh, I think in the post-COVID world, uh, customers are going to look for that trust, the trust of safety, the trust of having the items that they need delivered to them, making sure that we hold ourselves to the promises that we make. Um, uh, those would be very, very important 